Hey everyone, today's video is a roundup of your favorites. These are the best selling items from December 2023. So if you've ever been curious what other people are buying, here's your chance to get a little nosy and find out. It's also an opportunity to get some updates on the more popular items from last month. And the good news is it's all in stock. So I've broken it out into the overall top 10. And then from there, we're gonna go into a few categories. Everything is listed down in the description box in the order in which I describe it here and pinned to the top of the comments. I also have the QR code over here. I will pop it up again towards the end of the video. And hey, if you're watching on X, which was formerly known as Twitter, hey, make sure you comment on Twitter. Let me know that you were there. All right, let's get to the top 10. So the overall best seller from December, 2023 is this time and true waffle crew neck sweater comes in a bunch of colors. I'm happy to say at least from my end where I'm looking at the Walmart website, pretty well stocked across the sizes in all the colors. Some are more popular than others. I have it in the size extra small. I felt like it ran a little big and I have it in both the purple and the sort of dark olive green. And since we're talking about Walmart and there are a few more items that may pop up in this list, I do want to point out because I get this comment on every single video where I'm showing Walmart pieces, just because something says it is sold out, the moment in time that you click on that button does not mean that it is actually sold out somewhere else in the country, maybe even a zip code or two over at the exact same time. Or maybe someone's watching this video a few days later and they've done restock. So please, for the sake of the other people that are watching, I would really appreciate it. If you don't leave the comment, it's out of stock because it may be for you. It might not be for someone watching literally in the next zip code over and one little trick that you may want to try I get a lot of messages saying this has worked for people is when you are on the Walmart website Change the location of the store not yourself But the store in which you are looking even though you're shopping online and it may still pop up available where you are Okay, let's get on to the rest of the top 10 number two is from gap and they're the gap high-rise vintage slim straight jeans now the link that I have for you goes to one particular wash, but this is a very popular style on the Gap website. So there's lots of different washes. I like the short length. I'm five foot four. I prefer the 28 or 29 inch inseam to hit just above my ankle in a straight leg style. So I do have it in the regular length. It comes in a tall length as well, and it has a pretty decent size range. Clearly it is a popular jean for many of you as well. The straight leg is the most, I don't wanna say it's the most popular. It's the most pushed style of jean and I feel like this particular gap vintage slim straight very long name jean is the most easily styled pair of straight leg jeans that I have seen number three is from Amazon it's their soft touch cable knit sweater I love this sweater it is really soft which is why it is named soft touch and it's just it's a classic design it's easy to wear it's cut at a really nice length at least on my body that it hits me just above the hips in a place where it doesn't seem to cut me off across the widest part of my hips it's very flattering you can do a little front tuck or side tuck you don't have to I know some of you really hate that it's just a really wearable piece it comes in a lot of great classic neutral colors and some fun pops of color as well. I picked one up in sort of a spring green shade and I'm really enjoying it. Number four, I have some news on this one. So here we go. Number four are the Chico's trouser jeans, my all time favorite jean from 2023. So here's the good news. A lot of you obviously loved it as well. The bad news is it's not on their website. Not exactly. What I found instead was a black denim version of the trouser jeans, which is a new wash. But when you click on that link, it's the only wash they're showing. The other four or five shades that they've been sharing all through most of 2023 in various shades of denim blue are gone. And they also have the cropped trouser jean, which I know a lot of you absolutely despise. I like them in the summer, I'll, I have to be honest, but I do prefer the full length. So the good news is you can now get the trouser jeans in black and you couldn't before. And they're now available in petite lengths, which I don't believe they were before either. So if you need a little bit of a shorter leg, you've got it. But if you wanted to pick them up in blue for reasons I don't know, they are not available. But I do have a contact at Chico's. I will be reaching out and we're gonna research this and find out where our beloved trouser jean has gone. Number five is this plaid shimmer blouse from Walmart. It comes in 
a beautiful sort of holiday green and black. And I think there's probably more options available in the black than in the green, which I think is great. When I look at the green, I think it looks more holiday to me. The black is something I can see wearing as long as I need to wear long sleeves. I was gonna say year round, but if you're new here, I live in San Antonio, Texas, and our season for long sleeves is pretty tiny. It's a beautiful top. It is a full button down or button front blouse, let's call it that. And I do feel like it runs a little large. I size down to an extra small in that. Number six on the top 10 are these driving loafers. A lot of you did, had never heard of a driving loafer before, so let me explain. It's basically a loafer. However, the sole has these black rubber pieces and they tend to go up the back because when you're wearing these while you're driving and your heel is resting on the gas pedal or the brake, then these rubber bits rub against the floor and not your actual shoe. I have been looking for alternatives to wearing sneakers. Still gives a more casual look, but not quite as casual as a pair of sneakers. And I'm really gotten into the driving shoes and apparently a lot of you have as well. This particular brand I feel runs a little bit big. I usually wear a size seven. I ordered these in a seven originally, they fell right off. So I sent them back and picked them up in a six and a half and these fit perfectly. And my best friend came over yesterday. She tried these on. She's also normally size seven and these, these fit great on her too. Just want to give you that sizing update. Number seven is this two piece sweatsuit set. That is hard to say. So Amazon has really come out strong with their two piece sets. Most of them are knit set or more scuba. This one is absolutely sweatshirt type material. I personally loved it so much that I bought it twice. I have it in the light gray and the navy blue. The pants don't have pockets, but the front has the hoodie sort of kangaroo pocket, but there is no hood. So I think it's sort of the best of both worlds. Super comfortable. I have had a few requests to feature more work from home type outfits or loungewear outfits. I would really love to do a whole video just on my favorite two piece sets from Amazon. If this is something that interests you, please let me know in the comments below. Number eight, this has been a favorite for quite a few months. It's a Western style booty from Walmart. Super, super comfortable. I've raved about this for months, but in a nutshell, this stacked heel is actually some sort of rubber material as well as the sole. So it's really, really comfortable. This is a faux suede, it has a full zip up the side, and it also comes in black. I don't know if I noticed that before. And if you live in Texas, we are headed right into rodeo season. Very excited for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. I know Houston has a big one. Fort Worth pretty much has one all the time. I believe Austin has one as well. But for me, it's the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. We're about a month out, it starts February 8th. But anyway, these super comfortable. If you have not jumped on these, grab them before they disappear from the website. Number nine is this V-neck button down shirt. It doesn't unbutton all the way down, but it is a really nice alternative to a traditional collared button down shirt. Very lightweight, cottony sort of feel. I, again, love this one so much. I bought it in five colors and I have all of the colors listed in the description box and all the other places that you can find the links. It runs from small to extra large and I have it in a size small. It's great to wear on its own. It works really well layering under things because of the weight and I like how it blouses out. And another thing, because the buttons don't go all the way down, you can tuck it in and then blouse it out and not have to worry about any kind of gaping right at that waistline or that awkward, where do you tuck it with the, where the button hits the, you know, the waistline kind of thing. These shirts are perfect for tucking in. And then the last of the overall top 10 bestsellers from last month is this mixed media jacket, also from Walmart. This is more of an athletic type jacket. Of course you can wear it with anything you want. It comes in four colors. I picked it up in the beige, has the little thumb holes. The size range is pretty impressive. Extra small to triple XL. I picked mine up in a size small. So now we're gonna break out into some categories and this time I'm gonna lead with lifestyle because behind clothing, that seems to be the category that most of you are interested in. And number one is this phone holder that you mount in your car, it mounts on the vent of the car. And the reason I personally picked this up, and I think it's the reason many of you picked it up as well, is that it holds the phone at the bottom. Most phone holders for cars hold it somewhere around the middle. And most of the time I have some sort of mounted thing, like a ring stand or a kickstand. I used to have a loopy case and it would just get in the way and it would never fully sit in that 
phone mount. So I really love how I can just pop it in there and it holds it from the bottom very handily, very sturdily, I should say. There's no hands involved. I can still see it, it rotates. So if I wanna rotate it to the passenger, but it's fantastic. Clearly a lot of you love it as well. And just the way it's designed, even though it sits in the vent, I still can get all the air. So that's also important when you live somewhere that's usually pretty hot. You don't wanna block the air conditioning. Number two for lifestyle, ironically, even though I just said it's usually very hot here, because I'm so used to heat, when it does cool down, I personally get really cold. And this extra long faux fur covered heating pad has been the hero of the winter season for me. And I think a lot of you are enjoying it as well. I use it the most, almost like a little lap blanket. I plug it in when I'm watching TV at night with my husband. I just drape it across my lap. I get nice and toasty warm. My husband who runs hot is just happy and fine. Sometimes if it's really gonna get cold and everything is relative, but if it gets colder at night, I will slide it in on my side of the bed about you know, 30 minutes before I go to bed, turn it on, and then when I get in bed, the bed is nice and toasty warm. I love how long it is, and the cover slips off, and you can throw that in the washing machine. Number three is this eye massager, and I have a feeling this was a big hit as a holiday gift. I have gotten a few DMs and emails from some of you saying that you either received this as a gift or gave it as a gift, and I love that you trusted my recommendation enough to give it to somebody else. If you are dealing with allergies or a stressful situation or you suffer from migraines, this thing is incredible. There are different settings. It has heat options, vibration, no vibration, just the massaging. It doesn't actually touch your eyeballs. It just massages the whole area around your eyes. It has a Bluetooth capability to connect with your phone if you want to play some soothing music, and it automatically shuts off after 20 minutes. So if you want just a little quick cat nap or a little 20 minute timeout, it is perfection. And I know I have a lot of viewers watching from Texas. I know we're not the only state that's starting to move heavily into allergy season, but we are really getting hit hard with that mountain cedar right now. And then we're moving into oak season. So if you are dealing with allergies and those sinuses, you might wanna add this to your Amazon cart. Number four is another very popular gift from what I've heard from all of you, and it's my foldable clothing steamer. It's billed as a travel steamer, but I use it every single day. I steamed this sweater before I put it on this morning. It's just so handy, it's super powerful, and it's replaced all the other steamers that I have recommended to you over the years. And then the last of your lifestyle favorites are these retractable cords. They are a charging unit. It plugs into the AC outlet in your car. And then there's two retractable phone cords. You can either do the lightning cables or the USB-C. And then there's two other USB ports in there as well if you wanna add a couple more chargers. And what's great is the cords pull out when you need them and then they retract when you don't. Next, we have your top five favorite accessories. And like I mentioned, the driving loafers were number one, the Western booties were number two, and then we have a couple of handbags. I don't know how many months in a row this has landed on the bestsellers list, but this this one is the quilted front. It's a front flap crossbody bag. I have it in sort of a camel tone, and then I have it in a faux leather in pebbled in the black, and there are two other options as well big back pocket here. It's a beautiful, very functional bag, very much inspired by the shape and style of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. This one is under $25. It's a little more budget friendly and it is very, very popular. Number three for accessory bestsellers is this faux leather tote. I initially picked it up in the cream with the brown faux leather straps. This reminds me very much of the silhouette of a Todd's shopping bag. Again, a designer brand that is not particularly budget friendly. Then I think it was last month, I picked it up in the black and I just love it. I love the shape. I think it looks really elegant. It's very, very affordable. It also has a denim option. I haven't seen that one yet, but love these totes. And then the last of the accessory bestsellers is this fleece belt bag that I love so much. Yes, I bought all three colors. So I have it in the cream. I have it in the caramel, they're calling this. And I have it in the black. This is the newest one. This is still packaged uh, with the stuffing inside it. And I just wanna point out that the front is fleece, the back is a satiny nylon sort of material, and it is available in the regular strap length and an extended strap length. And I personally picked them up in the extended strap length. And then we're gonna finish the whole thing up with your beauty favorites from December, 2023. So number one, it's on my lids. 
and it's the Tarte Quick Stick. My personal favorite is the rose gold eyeshadow crayon on one side and then the brown eyeliner on the other. And I did use the eyeliner today. I put it at the very edge and then I went over the whole thing with the rose gold shade. And we're gonna talk about what else is in my on my eyes in a moment. But these are so easy to use. I love that they're double-ended. They give you an eyeliner and an eyeshadow crayon all in one. I do have a discount code and I will put that down in all the link areas for you. Number two is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. The easiest way to clean your brushes on the planet, you just pour a little bit into a little bowl, gently, just, just barely dip your brush in, wipe it off on a paper towel or a cloth, and it's instantly clean and it's dry in seconds. It's amazing. Now, if you have a big, thick, say, foundation brush or powder brush, Maybe it'll take 30 minutes to dry, but it is really, really fast. No fuss, no muss. Number three is my personal all-time favorite beauty product. I use this every single day. This is the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. I wear it in the shade Light Beige. And I just wanna remind you, when you are applying this, it goes on under your eyes before any other makeup, before foundation, before any other kind of concealer. This is the first thing I put on my face. I just swipe it under my eye, pat it in with a brush, and then go on with the rest of my makeup routine. Hands down, the best under eye brightener color corrector I've ever used. Number four for beauty bestsellers is something I do not even own, but I'm about to order it. This was shared by Lisa J Makeup in the video that we did together on my channel. And if you missed it, I'll put the links to both of our videos in the description box. So we shared our top 10 favorites for beauty from 2023, and we each shared five in one video on one channel and one video in the other channel. So Lisa had shared that one of her favorites is this Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Caramel. And it's on my list of things to order. It looks so beautiful. It looks like the perfect all over one and done lid shade. If you liked the rose gold eyeshadow crayon, you would probably really like that color as well. It's just a little more bronzy than rose gold. It looks gorgeous. And then the last of the beauty bestsellers and the last thing we're talking about today is another drugstore find and it's from Maybelline. And they're these little, what are they called? Shadow blocks and very much inspired by I think the brand was Kaja came out a few years ago. I've seen them at the at Sephora. They're just three eyeshadow shades and they it's a cute little design. I picked up two of them and the formulation on these shades is incredible. It is so buttery soft, really wearable. For me, three shades is not enough, so I actually picked up two of the more neutral options and I kind of mixed them together. I like a six shadow palette. That's my ideal palette. Like this one has a very sort of light tone. This could be a brow bone shade, an all over lid shade, and then a deeper shade. It doesn't really have a transition shade, but this one does. And then this one has an even lighter brow bone shade and a slightly deeper lid shade, I would say. And this actually, shears out to more of a transition shade. So I have a combination of both of them sort of from the crease up. So those were your best sellers, your favorites from last month. I am curious to know what you purchased. So please let me know in the comments below what were your favorites from the month. Even if it's not something that I personally talked about on my channel, I would still love to know what you get excited about, what are some things that you're purchasing. So leave that info down below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.